Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to talk about this little board. It's a solar charger V1.0. Uh, it's produced by um, IoT MCU and it's a little board that uh, manages your uh, LiPo battery charging via solar, also USB, and then you can take the output and do something with it. It's uh, based around the chip, chip um, uh, called uh, CN3065 and um, a maximum charge current is 500 milliamps I'm not sure about the output but I would say it's about the same nice thing about this little board is that it features a micro USB port which you can use to charge the battery even though it's not connected to a, a solar panel also um, has j nice JST connectors so you can order a bunch of these for like you know really cheap like 5 bucks 20 piece and also oh yeah the price of this little board is around 20 bucks uh, it's around two, two and a half, two seventy, depending where you buy it. Just Google out um, solar charger and then IoT MCU. It's gonna pop up a couple of websites where you can buy it. Um, also, uh, it has two LEDs. One way, one where you know it tells you that it's okay that it's running, and the other one uh, lights up when it's charging. So my idea behind of this is uh, I'm just gonna use. Um, one of these batteries that I pull out the old laptop, Panasonic laptop, I'm gonna use that one to charge, maybe it's a little oversized, I know, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just sitting there doing nothing, so I just wanna incorporate it into some kind of project. So I'm just gonna connect the battery to here, and then also, um, I get I, I get something from before, I get like this, like solar array that I did before, but, um, it didn't work out, it was on a cardboard and I'm gonna take it out and dismantle it. It was connected to this uh, little booster but um, honestly uh, these solar panels uh, couldn't keep up with it. I mean as soon as you plug anything like you know substantial it kind of shuts off so it needs a little feed. So this little battery is gonna be a nice uh, buffer to fix that up. Alright so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna figure out uh, which which is positive, which is negative on this battery. So I'm just gonna use a use one of these um, multimeters to figure it out. Which I'm gonna set the scope for 20 volts because I know these batteries are you know single cell. They go up to uh, 4.0. So this is a negative lead. This is a positive lead. So we'll see. And yep, this is 4.04. .04. So yeah, that means this is a positive end. This is a negative end. And all right, we're gonna try to thin these um, these leads first. So I'm gonna try to be brief at the same time. Uh, do this very fast. The problem is these things don't stick too well. Oh. This is good, this is good. Oh, it's sticking, it's sticking. Alright, I don't wanna set the battery too much. Okay, that was probably too much solder. But it doesn't matter. So let's spread this a little bit all around. And wow, that turned out better than I hoped. Alright, let's try this one. Okay, I think it's good. It's good. Alright, I connected the battery successfully. Now, if I connect it to um, battery management system, we should be good. We should see. Alright, so that's plugged in. Let's, let's test a quick charge. I'm just gonna connect a couple of cables. A USB. And... Alright, we're charging the battery, so that's good. Alright, let's... Okay, let's test the output. Um, I'm gonna take a uh -uh, battery out. And I wanna, I wanna show you guys what the output is. So the input is approximately... Four zero four. 
Okay. Then there is a positive lead. And then there is a there is a negative lead. It's trying to run away from me. It's it's direct throughput. Okay, that's cool. All right. So uh, we still got two more things to do. As I said, on this solar array that I got here, I'm just gonna flip it around. So, oops. so I already got two, um, two of them wired in parallel. So um, this is a negative wire, the top one, and then I got the positive one. The boost circuit, as I said, didn't work properly with this setup. So I'm just gonna um, just gonna unsolder this, put in one of these connectors here, another, all those connectors here, and then move everything to plug in to the little circuit board. So let's get on with it. All right, guys. As I said, I'm gonna desolder this. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of new solder first. So old solder becomes more malleable all right that's out that's beautiful okay I'm gonna take out all that uh, old gunk from here so I'm gonna apply a new one okay still got some stuff here Oh, there's some wire here. That's interesting. Okay, that's clean. Just gonna clean this wire a bit. Okay, cut it out. Then maybe this side. Yeah, that's good. This one as well. Cut it out. Beautiful. All right. So now I'm gonna thin the wire so we can connect it to the other wire. Okay, that's nice. Good. Got a teardrop there, but that's fine. All right, now I'm gonna put some sleeves. Pull them back. All right. So this was a positive wire. I know that because it was connected to this positive terminal. Um, also, if I flip back the solar panel, um, I can check it out, but I already did that, so I don't have to. So I'm just gonna uh, splice these two wires together, and that's about it. That's nice. Nice and easy. This one too. Nice. Good. Alright, now so I'm just going to put the shrink cube. Around it. So, of course these wires are not sized up correctly, but it's for testing purposes anyway. So I'm just going my book beautiful all right and now we have only one left thing to do just gonna um, add the connectors to this little guy uh, maybe it's too short let's lengthen the wire a bit okay that's maybe too long Hmm. 
Okay, that's good. Way too long, but doesn't matter. We're gonna shorten it afterwards. We've got the positive one. Positive one goes through. Okay, that's good. Um, all right, let's close this up. Okay, let's apply a little solder. Okay, do this side as well. Went to the other side. Nice. All right. So that's that's about it. When it comes to that, I'm just all right. Okay, and that should be all good as far as I know. All right. So first things first, um, just gonna connect connect the battery. Right here. And solar charger right here. Okay, so Obviously we don't have sunlight, but uh, let me see if the light bulb will be sufficient to... Oh, 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 wait, wait. Damn it. It lights up, it lights up. Look. Oh yeah, all right, that's cool. It's charging even under the light bulb light. All right, that's cool. All right, let's test the output then. All right, so when I plug in this, Okay, now it's trickling, but it's applying the output, and let's see if we can charge something. I'm gonna take the cable, plug it in here, and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of these old uh, battery power banks and see if I can start charging it. So. Voila! It's charging. That's a good sign. Awesome. Before that, anytime I plugged in anything directly off of solar panels, this little guy wasn't able to do anything with it and just would just shut down. But with this little board, we uh, based on the CN3065, uh, it seems that it's working with the help of this old battery salvage from the HP laptop. Awesome. Well guys, thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video, if you like it, like it, if you didn't dislike it, see you next time and uh, stay creative, thank you, bye!